Well, I think in the New Testament, faithfulness is often defined um, in terms of godliness of character and orientation um, rather than in deliverance from some of the problems and difficulties in life or rather in, in terms of fruitful fruitfulness in terms of results of many people um, say turning to Christ or becoming believers being faithful to the calling which God has given us and in New Testament terms when the Apostle Paul particularly talks about say leaders or elders or overseers he often talks about not so much numerical growth but godliness of character um, consistency uh, integrity before the watching world and in Western cultures today it's always been the case but uh, particularly amongst the younger generation they want to see transparency uh, they want to see integrity uh, in the life of an individual and consistency and over the long haul that's very very attractive to people I, I hope you don't mind if I mention another personal illustration related to my daughter's death but um, I was the first believer in my family I became a Christian in my mid-teens and my parents didn't become believers till their mid-thirties and uh, it was after or in the circumstances of our only daughter dying my father asked to see me and um, he said uh, he said your mother and I have arranged to be baptized in a month's time and we'd like you to speak at the service and I said um, why are you telling me today? I said, oh, you've got to become a Christian first, Dad. He said, oh, we're ready for that. I said, why are you telling me today? And uh, he said, well, um, you know, I'm a businessman. He said, I met a lot of people in my life as a businessman who said they were Christians. And he said they were charlatans. I knew they were fakes. But he said, um, I've been watching you with dealing with our granddaughter and her physical handicap and now her death and he said the thing is son you can't fake hope in the midst of adversity you can't lay that on you've either got it or you haven't he said I haven't got it I can see that somehow God has given you that and I your mother and I want that and I said why is it taking you so long to become a Christian I've been a follower of Jesus for 20 years he said oh didn't you know I've been watching you every day I had to see if it was true and so are our family and friends so if we're wondering why some of them have not yet become Christians they need time to see it played out in our lives and integrity and faithfulness which takes a lifetime to build up a kind of godly reputation um, you can be sure they are watching to see if we'll be consistent in terms of the hope that we speak on, which gives us endurance. It's why John Wesley said, uh, our people die well. It's different to the view the unbelieving world has vis-a-vis -vis the king of terrors, which is what death is. It's still painful and difficult even for believers to face. Sometimes we play it down. But our response to that and to other challenges in life, trusting God in the midst of difficulties, um, is a striking testimony.